The reason for that is quite simple. The sense of <laughs> nothing more beautiful than this. And I actually don't use it. Also, you're probably wondering why I keep a new Macintosh keyboard. So if you feel like a very good morning, I haven't shot a video in the office for a while. Today I'm gonna do just that. So without wasting your time, let's go to the office. And just a disclaimer, there'll be more talking about this because it's been a while since I made the video. <laughs> it's currently lunch time. I just went out for lunch. It's uh, 1 p.m. at the moment. So I thought I was gonna have time to actually discuss some of the things during like uh, after my first meeting but I also have like a, a mentee that I need to actually help up with some of the stuff so that took some of the time and now I went to lunch so let me tell you what's really happening at the moment I just came back from leave today I was gone for like a week and yeah I just came back to a whole bunch of work so there's an upcoming demo and I need to be able to finish whatever I was working on by tomorrow and by the looks of things Half of my day was really mostly meetings i think that's definitely one of the things that you might not like about the software engineering thing sometimes they might put you into meetings sometimes they're like really necessary meetings just like today they're very necessary meetings so they did take up much of my time but uh now it's 1 p.m i'm gonna be having lunch after two i'll be fully focused on like uh doing what i need to get done by tomorrow which is a uh, type script component type script so someone asked me in the comments like why use angular why not use angular so the reason for that is quite simple it's it is what they are using at work so i can't just change the entire framework that we have at work and change it to angular so from what i've learned since i was a graduate was react and from there the the framework is next.js so we learned react next.js and then from there if you want your react to be typed it's more like c sharp right you don't want like to be dealing with errors at runtime and you want your stuff to be really nice type script is very good because it will be typed you'll prevent a whole lot of errors and you'll be like uh, deal with a few minor things so typescript is really good i've not used angular that's the reason i'm using typescript because i've learned typescript and it's what we are using at work uh let me see the other uh question that we have because i'll be answering three and then yeah i'll answer it at the office hopefully i get a chance because i think i'll be very busy <laughs> five i was just doing migrations at the moment it was quite a productive day uh, i was working on both ends mostly now you know the back end because i was adding an entity just for testing so that was was hindering what i was doing at the moment it was quite productive i think i'm gonna continue this tomorrow because i don't really have much recorded today it's probably gonna be like four minutes and i was told i should put more longer videos i think uh, uh, let me just show the comment right here i was told to put more videos so i'm gonna put uh, a longer video by recording a thing tomorrow this has been my day now it's half past five i think i'm just gonna leave continue later on because i need to test whatever i just edit here it works on both ends <laughs> sir what do you do for a living <laughs> you break our production 
As I did say, it was a productive day, so we're just gonna pick it up from tomorrow. I did uh, most of the planning, some of the implementation, but today is gonna, tomorrow is gonna be like the main day, because I'm supposed to be done tomorrow, so um, I'm gonna try to keep, pick it off as early as possible, and then we just get right into it, okay? It's a nice day, let's quite a few things, uh, implemented uh, something to actually test uh, which was actually a fun hack so I'm just gonna test that when I get to my place and I'm just gonna continue recording from tomorrow yeah just let me see you tomorrow good morning once again Friday morning I'm continuing with the work I'm implementing something on the front end still using TypeScript by the way and I still have to answer two of the questions from my comment section so stay around for that and I still have to discuss something about the concept of the week so let's just get into the work and I'll keep you posted <laughs> It's 1 p.m. I didn't have breakfast, so I'm gonna have lunch now. That basically means I'm gonna have my breakfast as my lunch. Doesn't really matter. So before I do that, I think I should answer one question again. I saw a question like, uh, what were my average marks in university or university, college, whatever you prefer to call it. I wasn't really a top performing student. I was just an average student. On the modules that I liked, I mostly got like 70s and 80s on a good day and the ones i didn't really like is like 50s i think i would think about showing my transcript here uh if i feel like i might just show it right here but mostly i got 70s and a few of the modules that i didn't really like or that i had a challenge in were like 50s which are like i think is two of them and mostly were mostly 70s and then the ones I really enjoyed, the ones that I found easy was like 80s. So yeah, my overall average at my end was almost uh, 74, if not 73. I remember it's just it was just the shy of uh, distinction. Yeah, with that, let me just go and have my lunch. Okay, that doesn't seem right. Let's get this. Yep, it's coffee time. And problem solved. Nothing more beautiful than this. TypeScript, testing, coffee, Iron Man. I bought this light and I actually don't use it. I mainly use this thing when I'm stressed and I just change on colors. But yeah, it's just for aesthetics either way. It just stays here. I like it though. Maybe you're also wondering why I keep on using this keyboard even after I bought like a 60% mechanical keyboard. You see this one is backlit, which means I can work in the dark, which is something that I love. So turns out the one that I, I bought, the mechanical keyboard, let me actually show you. It is not backlit because now if you plug it on, you can actually, it is lit back, but not on the keys themselves like you'll see from here of which means you can't really see the keys but there's just cool animation of light and also i don't know how to use this like uh forward and back buttons here even if though i see the manual this thing still doesn't work as i wanted to so it results with me being slower in my work so i'd rather have this one where i have specific keys for like up down and left and right and also i can also work in the dark because i love doing that this one fast responsive it doesn't really cater for my need so i went back to that by the way accepting donations for a new mechanical keyboard so if you feel like you can help me with that i appreciate it donate <laughs> excuse this quality because it's really dark in here time is around half past five and i'm 
gonna call it a day for now. I've done most of the things that I wanted to do. I've tested some of it. I think I'm gonna tidy up the styling over the weekend and also there's a few configurations that I wanted to, to actually uh, change. And the weather just turned, now it's raining. Okay, I'm just gonna tidy uh, the few things that I'm missing over the weekend. But for now, I'm just gonna take a break because I just went all in and yeah, I guess I got most of the things that I wanted to do done, so that's a win, I'll take that. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. It's probably not gonna be a day in the life, but don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section and I'm gonna answer three to five in the next video. Some of them I actually do answer in the comment section. So yes, see you then, cheers.